Senegal's new Prime Minister, Usman Sonko, delivered a fiery speech where he took shots at France. He questioned why, after more than 60 years of Senegal's independence from France, the former colonizer was still benefiting from military bases in the country. France has between 350 to 400 troops stationed in Senegal. Senegal's coup hit neighbors, Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso, have already removed French bases from their countries. Could Senegal be next? Let's find out in this next report from Dakar. It was one of his first public engagements after being appointed Prime Minister of Senegal. Usman Sonko raised the possibility of closing French military bases in the West African country in a wide-ranging speech that also touched on the Euro-backed CFA franc currency, oil and gas deals and LGBTQ rights. The firebrand politician gained power when his hand-picked presidential candidate, Basiro Giomai Fai, won a decisive victory in March. Sonko is known for criticizing perceived overreach by France in its former colony. France has about 350 troops in Senegal. We're past the time when Africans could be manipulated by any people under any regime. And this feeling, which is evident today, has always been present from independence to the present day. Neighbours Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger have pushed out French troops and turned to Russia for help to fight jihadist insurgencies on their territory. They have also turned away from West African bloc ECOWAS, which condemned their coups and formed their own alliance of Sahel states. Sonku also said Senegal, which shares the Euro-pegged CFA franc currency with seven countries, would like a flexible currency pegged to at least two currencies to help absorb shocks and support export competitiveness. Almost no African country can afford to go into debt in local currency. And this has to stop because we suffer the consequences. And what we also want is a flexible currency pegged to at least two currencies to help cushion exogenous shocks and support our export competitiveness. During the election campaign, Fai had initially pledged to abandon the CFA franc, but later backed off on his promise. Sonku reiterated promises to renegotiate oil and gas contracts in Senegal, where production is due to begin this year. He also called on Western countries to show restraint, respect, reciprocity and tolerance on social matters, including LGBTQ rights and gender equality. The so-called LGBTQ issue risks sparking backlash between the Western world and the rest of the globe if it continues to be posed in this way. This issue has suddenly become a priority debate in Western opinion, which we respect when it comes to their reality. Campaigning with Fai in the March elections on a pro-sovereignty platform and with major backing by the country's youth, Songu struck a tone similar to former President Maki Sal, who was seen as closer to the West. Bureau Report, we on World is One. For all the latest news, download the We on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.